In today's episode, we will see how to grow bitter melon or bitter gourd. And it's very easy to grow them in containers as you will see in this video. So let's get started on this episode of growing this interesting melon or gourd. Bitter melons don't transplant very well so I recommend that you sow the seeds directly in the soil and we are going to be growing these bitter melons in containers. You can easily grow them in containers and all you need to do is make sure that you support the plants well using stakes or cages. Bitter melons are not very heavy feeders. However, once they start flowering, you need to seriously think about adding fertilizers to ensure vigorous growth as well as decent production of the bitter melons. And remember the bitter melons will get big only if you add fertilizer at the right time during the growing period. So you have choices between organic fertilizers or if you wish to use synthetic fertilizers there are some other options as well which you can see on the screen. No matter what you do when the bitter melon plant is growing well make sure you water it well and add the right fertilizers. Bitter melon plants need some kind of staking. So as you can see here I've used a common tomato cage that you get at garden stores to support uh, this plant. I'm also using a couple of rebars that you can see to hold the tomato cage in place. And this plant is being grown in a 16 inch container, a 16 inch wide, 16 inch high container. And this is a pretty good size for growing this bitter melon plant. So as the bitter melon plant grows you will see that the fruits will start developing and they develop pretty quickly actually compared to almost all the other melons and although it may seem tempting to harvest this melon at this size you really need to be patient with this plant because in the summer season you will see that the fruits develop but then they grow very slowly sometimes taking up to a week to mature. A fruit of about this size can be harvested but I would still wait for about a few more days before this fruit can be harvested. Remember that if you wait too long though there's a very good chance that your bitter melon will start becoming hard and fibrous and as you keep growing this plant you will soon have an experience of harvesting this melon at the right time. So yes you could harvest this melon at this size you would get slightly smaller fruit size. Now an important point about the bitter melon plant is that when the plant is growing you're gonna see these small yellow bitter melons developing. Now you do not want to keep those on your plant because those are not the healthy ones. These are the healthy melons. They'll be green, light or dark green and this is what you should be harvesting. So the harvesting is really simple. You just snip it off at the top where it's attached to the plant and if you can see the size is pretty good to harvest the bit of melon. So we've harvested three of our bitter melons and they should give you a good idea of the size they should be when you're harvesting them. And in the growing season you will get many opportunities to harvest your bitter melons because it's such a vigorously growing plant. The only key is to make sure that you support it well and throughout the summer it's going to give you some nice bitter melons that you can harvest. We're going to be harvesting a few here. Those look pretty big and nice. Mm -hmm. 
Now, although the bitter melon is bitter in taste, you can really get the flavor out of a bitter melon by following the simple step. Peel the bitter melon really well. Make sure you take off the skin in most of the areas. And what you're going to be realizing that after we do the step, you will really start to enjoy the flavor of the bitter melon even if you haven't had one before. The next step is to wash the bitter melon really well. That takes off most of the bitterness. And now what we're going to do is just slice it and take out all the seeds from within the melon. Do that for all the melons that you've harvested. And now we take some sea salt. Remember sea salt works the best for this step. So you just take some sea salt and rub it all over the melon. Just like that. So my wife was kind enough to make some nice bitter melons for me when we harvested these over the weekend. So she's doing all the hard work of preparing the bitter melons. So as you can see she is now uh, completed with the step of rubbing the bitter melon with salt all over it. And now what we're going to do is just let it remain at room temperature for some time. So the bitter melons are now all prepared and ready to be cooked. And remember people eat the bitter melon for its taste. Some people do like the bitterness but the taste is really amazing once you know how to prepare a bitter melon. The bitter melon is also very healthy for you. It has a lot of health benefits and I'm sure that once you start enjoying your bitter melons you'll never look back. Mm -hmm.